The weather is absolutely glorious. And in this episode, I'm asking the question, is it too early to get plants out from the greenhouse and start thinking about planting up for summer? So it's early April and the weather has been mixed recently. We've had sunshine, showers, but we've had a lack of frost. It's been pretty mild of late. And today it's early April. I'm in the garden and again, expecting sunshine and showers for the rest of the day. And every year we talk about getting tender plants out. When is it too early? When's the right time? Well, wherever you are, pretty much, it's far too early for getting the true, true tender plants out from the greenhouse and house and putting them straight outside. Whatever time you're going to bring plants out, you do need to harden them off. And I've done videos on how to harden off plants and why we do it. And I'll post a link to that in the description below. But we're thinking specifically about this spring. It's spring 2024. And I think I've got a good feeling that we're going to get away with it not being cold now in April into May. I think the weather looks set for the next couple of weeks where we're not going to get any frost whatsoever. And we're going to get some decent mild days. You know, some sunny days, some showery days, some cloudy days, but no frosty mornings and cold nights. That's what the forecast looks like to me. And we can gamble on that. Nobody knows for certain the weather forecast could change in you know next few days and we can get cold weather pattern set up and we could get frost and cold and even snow in parts of the UK. But looking at the forecast, feeling what the weather's been like recently, I think we're going to be set for a decent spring into early summer. So what does that mean for bringing plants out? Well, like I said, it's too early for the real tender plants, but there's lots of half-hardy plants we could bring out now. And plants that I'm going to be bringing out are aeoniums, all my arid plants, and plants that have sort of overwintered in there, such as some of the Musa Baju and Musa Tichimensis that I brought under cover, and things like my Bugmansias as well. Things that they're not really into proper growth yet, and it doesn't matter if the first leaves get damaged in talking about the Brugmansias. Things like the arid plants, aeoniums and things, they can withstand quite a lot of fluctuations in temperature and some decent strength of sun as well. So I'm going to risk bringing those plants out now. And what that will allow me to do, and what would allow you to do, is have more space in your house, in your conservatory, in your greenhouse, for sowing seeds and having more space generally for plants that may be been potted on and getting bigger. And it allows you to get those plants out from the greenhouse to start harding them off and getting them prepared for either planting out or having a nice pot display. So it's a risk. I'm not saying you should definitely do this, but for me, the pros outweigh the cons. By getting all my aeoniums outside and all the big plants that are sort of half hardy, it gives me so much more space to pot on ceilings and things like that. And it means the plants can be brought out earlier, will have a head start into growth because the light intensity outside compared to inside, even if it's beautiful clean glass window that the sun's shining through so much of it is filtered and will you know the light levels are far less in a greenhouse even to our eyes it might perceptibly be the same in a glass house compared to outside the sun is much stronger in terms of hitting the plants outside compared to in a greenhouse so plants can basically photosynthesize strengthen up grow earlier quicker and faster providing we don't get cold temperatures. So there's lots of ifs and buts because if we get really, you know, chilly mornings, it can set back plants. You'll get, you can get frost damage, even if you just get a nip of frost for a couple of hours into, you know, late April into early May, even if the days are glorious up to 15, 20 degrees, if the nights go down to zero or below, then it can really, you know, catch plants and take them back a little bit. But I think, looking at the forecast, I've got nothing lower than six or seven degrees at night time in the forecast for me for the next two weeks. And the daytimes are sort of between, I think the lowest was 10, 12 degrees up to 19 degrees. So that's nice, warm-ish, mild temperatures. And all my, like I said, my Ioniums and bananas like the Musabaju will be totally fine outside in those temperatures. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to risk it. So are you going to risk plants or are you going to 
play safe and keep plants under cover for a bit longer. I will say anything that I'm growing from seed this year, I will not be bringing out at all until early May to middle of May. And anything truly tender, so things like Southern Stormum, Plectranthus, houseplants, so petunias, that sort of thing, begonias, I won't be bringing them out either because it's far too early for that. Because cold nights, even if we don't get frost, just cold mornings and nights will really sort of stop the plants growing and check their growth. So you don't want to bring them out too early. But saying that, honestly, the temperatures are looking pretty good at the moment. So some places might get away with even bringing out tender plants and starting the hardening off process over the next few weeks. So let me know in the comments below if you're going to start bringing out your tender plants.